Hey everybody, Steelbook Obsessed here. I love me a nice deal in Dollar Tree. They definitely had one. A lot of movies, all of their movies in fact, were 50 cents each. They had a ton of Blu-rays. I got three sacks full of movies, but let's start digging into them. So in total, I bought 35 movies, 10 DVDs, 24 Blu-rays, and believe it or not, one HD DVD. Did not think I would find that new in store in 2023, but I did. So let me start showing you what I got. I even have this part organized. I have Blu-rays with slips, Blu-rays without, DVDs with slips, DVDs without. So without further ado, let's get started off with a goodie, a Walmart exclusive Star Wars The Last Jedi. Pretty dang cool for 50 cents. The main reason why I bought it, I already own it on 4K, but it's got the exclusive lithograph there. For 50 cents, I'm gonna give that a shot. Next up, I'm a big documentary dork, and this is about as dorky as that gets, but I absolutely love the cast. Look at all the directors on there, side by side. This is about the change from filming on film to filming digitally, and picking this many great directors' brains on that process sounds phenomenal to me. Let's see here. Next one we got, we got a few anime choices now. I like the Mass Effect games, so I picked up this. Mass Effect, what's it called? Paragon Lost. Never heard of it, but for 50 cents, I'm going to give it a shot. And then here's the start of my Shout Factory Blu-rays. I cannot believe I found these. I found a few animes that I have not seen before. Big Fish and Begonia. have no idea. Liz and the Blue Bird. Again, with Slip, it's so cool. And the one that looks the coolest that I think my girls might want to watch with me, Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. I have no idea what that is, but that looks very Studio Ghibli-esque. Totally down for that. Now let's start the Blu-rays with out slips. First up, a 3D movie. Again, buying that new in 2023 sounds very bizarre to me, but Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter in 3D. This is a thick boy. I know that the front is Spanish. It's got Spanish on it. I'm okay with that. That's not gonna bother me. Whatever, I now have that movie. Next up, Drill Bit Taylor. I've never seen this. I know it's uh, partially written by Seth Rogen. That's the main reason why I wanted to see it. I heard it's an okay movie. I didn't see it at the time because it was rated PG-13 and I think I was like 20 years old. Like, I don't want to watch no PG-13 comedies. Give me R or nothing. I'll give it a shot now. Next up, we got Assassination Nation. I've heard very mixed things about this and I want to make up my own mind on that. Here's a movie I have not heard of before. It looks very Neon Demon-esque. Or Neon Demon, yeah. Teen Spirit. Again, know nothing about it, but for 50 cents, I'll give it a gander. Here's a movie my wife likes, but we do not own, Bad Moms. She's not a bad mom, but she loves seeing uh, moms get crazy. Here is an HD DVD in 2023. I saw this and I'm like, I don't need this. I don't have any way to play it, but I couldn't pass it up just because of the oddity factor. Ocean's 13, another great movie that I really like on HD DVD. So, so bizarre. Here is a Shutter exclusive, which is very cool to find for 50 cents. Prevenge! It's Prevenge! Literally know nothing about this movie, but I like me some Shutter movies. Every Shutter original that I've seen that has been released on Blu-ray, I've not been disappointed by. So let's see if Prevenge keeps that trend going. Uh, next is the first of a few Conjuring movies that I found. The first one, The Nun. I have not seen it. I've only seen the main Conjuring movies and the first Annabelle. So I got a lot of catching up to do. The Nun will be one. Um, next, I have the first movie to this, and I really like that, but I have not seen the sequel, and that movie is 300 Rise of an Empire. I've heard kind of mixed things about it, but for 50 cents, I will give it a shot. Uh, here's a movie that slipped by me when it first came out, and I was very bummed about it, and I finally have it now, and I have no excuses that I cannot watch Selma now. And it's the special edition, too. They had the regular Blu-ray, and then they also had the special edition. So, of course, I'm going to pick this up. There's over 90 minutes of bonus content on here. I'm all in. Let's go. An AFI Fest Q&A. Let's do it. A movie that, when I checked my collection on my app, I could not believe I did not own. I love this movie. I don't know why I don't have it. Now I do. For 50 cents. Friday Night Lights. I love the show. I love the movie. I love everything about this series. So, yeah. Of course I'm going to own the movie. Uh, sticking on the sports route, ESPN documentaries are phenomenal. Those 30 for 30s are mwah, chef's kiss. 
I showed you a little bit. ESPN Films Collection number one. It's got five great docs on here. Catching Hell is the main one that I wanted. That's the um, about the Chicago Cubs and the fan that kind of robs a home run away and his life gets like completely ruined. Love that documentary. So that's the main reason why I got this. But it also has Herschel. It's got the Fab Five. It's got Renee and Charismatic. I know three of those five. But I love the way these are done. So I'm going to watch them. Here's another one in the Conjuring series. The Curse of La Llorona. I don't know if this is good or not. I don't think I've heard anybody talk about it, so it's probably not a good sign, but I'm going to give it a shot for 50 cents. Dollar Tree coming through. I still can't believe I found all of these for 50 cents each. That is so crazy. I've only seen the first purge. No, I've seen the first two purges, but I have not seen any more after that. Here's the third purge, Election Year. I love the cover art with like the Statue of Liberty freaky face. Give this one a shot. Oh, I saw this, and <laughs> this reminded me of John Wick, and then the person on the cover really, uh, I'm just like, man, I, I miss this guy, and I didn't think I'd miss him with all the crappy movies he put out, but I do miss him, and this looks crappy in all the good ways, like a B-movie knockoff that I actually want to see. Once Upon a Time in Venice. Doesn't this give off, like, John Wick vibes with the doggo and Mr. Bruce Willis, and that cast is crazy. It's got John Goodman, Jason Momoa, uh, Famke Jensen, Thomas Middleditch. Yeah, I'll give that a shot all day. Um, next movie I got is a Steven Soderbergh joint. I want to say he shot this on his iPhone like eight years ago or something like that. I never got around to watching it, even though I've always been fascinated to watch it. And I, I've told myself I would, and I didn't own it. Now I do. Unsane, baby. I've heard very good things about it. So I cannot wait to check it out. Let's see here. We got three more Blu-rays, and then I will do a rapid fire on the DVDs, I promise. Mads Mikkelsen, he made two winter action movies in one year. What, last year? Two years ago? Here's one. Arctic. Have not seen this, but I like the gray, and this pretty much looks like that. Again, if you want to give me another version of the gray, I'm going to watch it. Next up, I told myself that I want to watch every single Dave Bautista movie ever made. I love the guy. I think he's the best act wrestler turned actor. <laughs> but we'll see if this is any good. It's got an okay cast. Kickboxer Vengeance. And he's right there, but he's first build. So I don't know if he's the main character in this or a side character. I need to watch this. I need to watch a good chunk of his movies. Like I, I've owned uh, The Man with the Iron Fist for a while, directed by RZA. Really need to watch that too. The last Blu-ray is a Shout Factory Blu-ray that's not anime. And I saw it and I'm like, that's a weird pairing combo. Like this whole thing just seems like a movie that's made up, but it was put out by Shout Factory. Resistance. Jesse Eisenberg, Ed Harris, Nazi fighting. <laughs> it's, it, I don't know. Th this movie just looks like a fever dream to me and I will check it out. But now, rapid fire on the DVDs because... If they were any more than 50 cents, I would not have bought them. I'm not a big DVD collector guy. They just kind of sit in the back. But sometimes I get to them, especially horror ones. And the majority of these are horror ones. First up, The Nightingale. I love The Babadook, but I have not seen this movie from the same director. I'll give it a shot. I've also heard very good things about Oculus. So I'm going to give that a shot as well, directed by Mike Flanagan. Loved this movie. I know I need to own it on... I want to own it on 4K. I bet it would look great. I like me some Harmony Corinne. His latest movie, The Beach Bum. I like how absolutely bizarre that movie is. Next up, a Scream Factory DVD. That's one of the main reasons why I got it. Itsy bitsy, it's itsy, it's itsy bitsy. Look out for the spiders. I bet it sucks. <laughs> I bet it sucks, but I'm here for it. Sometimes I'm in for a bad horror movie. Next up, this looked all kinds of crazy. I'm like, what the hell is this? I would not think of combining poker and serial killers, but they did it. With Poker Night. That looks like all types of bad that I'm in for. And it has Giancarlo Esposito and Ron Perlman. I mean, what a weird, weird, weird movie. And I'm ready to watch it. This one caught my eye because, I mean, I it's about Ozzy Osbourne. I like Ozzy Osbourne, but this is a documentary directed by Jack Osbourne about Ozzy Osbourne. God bless. That sounded unique enough for me to pick it up and give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Oh, this one. This one might be the weirdest one out of the bunch because I kind of forgot that this show existed. 
It's put out by Shout Factory. It's Saban. It's Ninja Turtles. And it is the next mutation. Look at that. Look how janky their costumes look. Tried to do turtles on a TV budget. Look at the teethers. Can you see that? This way? There we go. Look at the teethers. That just does not look natural. I don't. I don't know about that one. Okay. Here's one. Three movies for 50 cents. It's not going to be good. But I just watched Megan. Had a good time with that doll movie. Also, Child's Play is very good. Is Robert. Triple feature. Watch out. Robert. The Curse of Robert. And Robert. And the Toy Maker. Uh, these are going to be terrible. And I don't know if it's a good bad or a bad bad. But I'll give it a shot. Next up, another Shudder original I've been meaning to see. Because I want to get my opinion on One Cut of the Dead. I like watching zombie movies. I've heard this is very unique in that genre. Going to give it a shot. And finally... Keanu, the bromantic comedy. I own Keanu on Blu-ray, but the main reason why I got this for 50 cents, it comes like packed in a koozie. So, I, I want to see what that koozie looks like. Is it Keanu related? That's the main reason I'm hoping for. I paid 50 cents for a koozie. Let's see what koozie's inside. All right, bromantic comedies. Keanu, I gave it a little slice, but I don't know if it's going to be in here or not. So let's take this off. See what's underneath the slip cover. And I feel it. I feel the koozie. What kind of koozie is it? <gasps> oh, that is that is so lame. Chill out, bro. That was not worth the 50 cents. Damn it, Dollar Tree, you got me again. But I mean the slip cover's kind of cool, but chill out, bro. You shouldn't have wasted your money. Damn it. So here is my haul stack. Overall, not too bad for $18. I got a couple, actually quite a few heavy hitters. If you like this content, let me know if you want to see more. I like finding hauls like this. I mean, I never find them for this cheap, but if you want more of these, let me know in the comments, please. And quick update. I almost forgot when I was uh, putting all this stuff away, the Star Wars Last Jedi exclusive, Walmart exclusive picture. You ready to see what it is? That's pretty dang neat. The death of Luke Skywalker. I like it. I like the way it looks. Definitely worth 50 cents. Well, again, if you guys want any more of this content, let me know. I'm mostly known for making TikTok videos. I'm trying to grow my YouTube a little bit. So if you want longer form content, I kind of need this to do kind of well. So if you like it, follow me, like this post. Oh my God, I don't even know what I'm saying. Share it with people. If you like it and you think other people will like it, spread the word, please. Because making these long videos takes a lot of work. And I like my minute content just to be bite-sized. Bye!